Hip-hop beef, is it good for the culture? You know, my brother, who I agree with almost 99% of the time, badass Boosie, who had to go to court to fight, what, six murder cases and win. This guy understands real life and not fantasy. And so the other day I seen him say, you know, hip-hop beef is cool and it's cute to somebody dies. Now, I know we started on competitiveness. I know we started on, you know, lyrics against lyrics. But this modern day and era, you got to understand, right? When you see a rapper, and this is like, stop me real quick if I sound like um, I am old. Somebody said you look old. I am old, guys. I am. I'm just a fly old motherfucker. That's all. <laughs> don't, don't worry about me. <laughs> I'm doing a lot better than a lot of young guys. Trust me. And so, um, what we were talking about right now. All right. So when you see these guys, you see a rapper, especially a gangster rapper, you see their entourage. So those are all the tough guys from the neighborhood. And now the entourage feels like you know, this is their chance. You know, you've been taking care of them. You take them around the world with you. You take them uh, uh, to special places with you. The only thing they know is warrior. All they know is warrior. So you're giving them an opportunity to show you that they're loyal to you, that they want to prove to you that they're willing to do anything. And so that's when rap beef goes wrong, right? And then some guys try to play themselves out of term like they extra tough. When they're not, and then they might get uh, exposed. And so, I guess when rap beef goes wrong, and I'm not really, you know, I don't really like the present uh, status of rap beef because I'm one that, you know, I'm loyal to a fault. You know, when I squashed beef with 50 Cent, he told me, I know you loyal you to a fault. Every time I went at you, you would just jump out right quick. You would this and this. And, and so I can't be your friend and make songs with you and make albums with you and then start exposing your secrets later and start dissing you. It just ain't in me, right? And so that's why I don't like about this beef. Um, Of course... The Tupac of 2024 has to be Chris Brown. I mean, Chris Brown is con considered an alien. If you play him basketball, he'll bust your ass. If you sing against him, he sings better, he dances better. If he got a rap, he rap. Like, that's battle rap. Like, like, Chris Brown, that's the one I've been listening to. Chris Brown, not disrespecting everybody they got their records. I mean, the original. So far, the original. There's a reason why it keeps going number one, and it's the most streamed, which is the K-Dot Future um, produced by Metro Boomin. See, because they put Metro Boomin in the beef, but he don't rap. So I don't consider him being in the rap beef. Yeah, he's there giving them the beats, but I don't look at it like that. You know what I'm saying? So, but that joint, even if they never diss Drake, it's a joint. You know, um, but, you know, yes, hip-hop beef can go real bad. And so, uh, I don't know. I don't think Kendrick's cooking up. It don't take him three, four weeks to, uh, to I think that's over. It don't take three or four weeks. Uh, then the Tupac family want to sue Drake. I thought it was creative using the AI Tupac and the thing pushing the envelope. But, you know, I got no horse in this game. You know, I wish they would all get along. But uh, is hip hop good? Is hip hop beef good for rap? You know, the baby said uh, another rapper, well known rapper, hit him up and said, yo, let's fabricate a beef. Now, this shit corny. You understand? It's just it's, 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 it's just corny. 
And so, people, man, <laughs> let me tell you something. 29 years since Lisa left our Lopez passed away. Lisa left our Lopez was an MC. Uh, so talented, TLC. Uh, one of the very few I never got to really meet like that. I might have seen her in passing at an award show, but never kicked it with her. But uh, her spirit uh, was so beautiful. You know, we, we, we lost out on Lisa Left Eye. We lost out on Aaliyah. We lost out on uh, a couple stars that were just very, very talented that we didn't get to see uh, the best of it. And... Um, and so Lisa left eye. We seen the boxing match. Ryan Garcia, he's a little bit too weird for me. I'm just keeping it a buck. He let them hands fly. We see Devin Haney, uh, you know, who I like. I've always respected his, his boxing game. We also seen his father get on live with Floyd Mayweather. Listen, I'm not letting nobody talk to me like that. I know Floyd got respect, this, this, that. Never. I'm going to stay positive. I'm going to get off that and stay in the light, but I didn't like the tone, you know, that, that, you know, I ain't like the tone, you know, talking to the greatest of all time, you know, I don't like the tone, but it's okay, it's not your beef, Joe, you know, you know how you guys like to make me go viral every time I talk shit, but I'm not, you'll never in your life see somebody directly on talk, nah, that's not happening, guys. That's not, happening. but Ryan Garcia, you know, I don't know what trolling means. I don't know. He pushed him. He said, uh, yo, you push the female, you know, this femininity, right? And I'm, and, and listen, guys, don't misplace my words. I'm for the LGBT. Don't get, if you're gay and you love to be gay, that's your shit. That don't got nothing to do with me. My best friends, my brothers. I got a, a best friend, a brother who's gay. I don't give a right? But this femininity, this thing that's going on, the boxing, you see, you know, the shit we see, he push him, he say he's a girl. He got Come on, man. Around. Um, I just wonder, right? Because we come a long way of accepting everybody for who they are. And everybody should be accepted for who they are or what they want to be in life. That's not our business. You are who you are. Be happy who you are. Be happy for what you have and not what you don't have. Be grateful. But everybody does what they want to do. We can't tell nobody what their sex is or what their sex life is. But I wonder if in the 90s, the golden era, I don't want to mention Cruz because we had the real hardcore if, because it seems like a trend. I mean, being gay has been around since before Christ. Like, it's been around. When you watch the Roman movies, Troy, all that, it's always been there. Right? Of Alexander the Great. People are gay. They say they're born like that. Cool. I don't have a problem with that. Right? Um, but it seems like a trend. Like a style. Simply a style. So, you know, you got guys who I don't think are gay, but they painting their nails or they walking with Birkin bags, you know. Uh, uh, it just seems like, yo, that's the way, you know, unfortunately, it's sad. You have originators, right? And then you have a lot of running with the swag, or running with the style. So if Dipset was wearing the flyers clothes, everybody was rocking the band then over there. Tupac was rocking the band. It just, and so it's like, it feels like it's been uh, a new trend, a new swag, a new style. Paint your nails, use a bag, wear a dress, this, right? And so, uh, I wonder in my era if it was accepted like that, if it was a trend. I, it would blow my mind to see what rapper would do that, right? And I'm not against, I'm not saying, I'm just saying in my era, I don't think we would have seen that like we've seen that. And if we did, hey, but it really, it really, uh, it bugs me out. It 
This guy said you push him as a girl. He's a girl. You know, I don't want to diss my man because my little man, uh, you know, my little man, you know, did it, <laughs> you know, and he's the coolest guy in the world. Uh, yeah, Prince did all that. Prince did all that. He was the transsetter. But I'm not saying Prince. I'm saying, can we say 10 in a row? Yo, I am Jay. What's up, baby? And so, you know, it's like, you know, it's a million of them. We could, we could say a million of them by now. Them war, you know, the toughest one, uh, my man's on Rico. Young Doug was wearing the skirts and this and this and that. He's the toughest. He said, so it's safe to say it's a fad, it's a trend. And guys are like, yo, I'm going to get more. Uh, I'm going to go viral. I'm going to sell more. You know, historically, the people who sold the most, let's just keep it a buck. You know, your Nicki Minaj, a whole, you know, I went to Beyonce's concert, which was a lot of fun. I had the best time of my life in there in the Renaissance, but it's a lot of, you know, and so is that's what's going on. They, they saying, yo, they, you know, the LGBT really supports you. So we got to act like that. And so anyway, it's something to talk about. I don't know. I can't make it up for you. Mary J. Blige. Huh? No, it's always positivity. Mary J. Blige, Shop Court Quest, Hall of Hall of uh, Fame, which they deserve it. You know, I was thinking the other day, you know, we so blessed because, you know, Mary J.'s my family. You know, one of my wife's best friends, you know, Mary comes to the house. You would die. If you're a big Mary fan, she's in my house all the time, right? And, and so... But she really is the queen, <laughs> right? And so it's so weird that, you know, she, she's the queen. And so when you listen to the radio, you listen to her music, and you just go, not nah, going to cry. I'm, and it's just so weird that my sister's the queen. And shout out my other sister, Shanti. Very, very happy. Very, very happy on cloud nine, engaged. You know, it was beautiful. You know, one day I knew it about a month and a half ago. So she took me into the bathroom. She said, bro, come here. I didn't know. It wasn't confirmed. And it was still like you couldn't see it with the clothes. I think we was in Texas or something on tour. And she picked up a shirt and I saw her belly. And she was so happy. And, 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 you know, when, when Ashanti goes to perform, she always prays, you know, before the performance. And then she said, God, protect my baby. It, it felt so beautiful to me that my sister could actually uh, experience that, you know. Um, and I'm happy when she's happy. And so I'm happy for all my sisters. Um, when they're happy, I'm happy. You know, that's that that's crazy. But Mary J, Tribe Core Quest, uh be careful these days. If you're flying a girl across the street, <laughs> across the the, the 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 if you fly a girl from Atlanta to Miami to hang out with you, they are calling that sexual assault these days. I'm I'm very clear. Like you, you know, you hear songs, I flew them out, I fly them out this. This is a new, uh, it's a new thing out there, guys. Shout out to Tanzania, Africa. Mama Africa, can you hear me? I see somebody asked me about beef. Well, I've been around since the beginning of hip hop, just as a kid, as a fan. And beef is competitive. And when somebody calls you out, you gotta, you gotta rap on the song. The only difference is the people I've beefed with were giants, were 50 Cent, where it almost felt like somebody was going down, or a Jay-Z, or, you know, these, these were dangerous things. This wasn't, you know, so I know from being in there, I know from my cousin Camisita hitting me up saying, bro, cuz, please, we don't want nothing to happen to you, we don't want you to this, and I know how... You know, my kids had to go to school and deal with, you know, rap beefs and all that. And so, shout out my son, Ryan. And so, you know, I know how it could turn 
into a negative thing, right? And we lost Biggie, we lost Tupac, y'all know that. 